What is the difference between a neutron star, a magnetar, a pulsar, and a black hole? What if we could collide them together? But first, a neutron star is what's left after a massive star explodes. It's a hyper-compressed ball of neutrons that packs more mass than the sun into a sphere only about 10 miles wide. If you dropped a sugar cube of neutron star material on Earth, it would weigh a billion tons. The gravity is so strong that the atoms themselves collapse, creating a cosmic zombie that refuses to pass away. Now take a neutron star and crank up its magnetic field a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. You get a magnetar. These beasts can literally rip atoms apart from thousands of miles away. Their surfaces occasionally crack in star quakes, unleashing insane bursts of energy that could fry Earth's electronics from across the galaxy. A pulsar is just a neutron star spinning so fast, sometimes hundreds of times per second, that it shoots out deadly beams of radiation. If Earth were in its path, we'd be microwaved in an instant. Then there's the black hole, the ultimate boss of the universe. It's the corpse of an ultra-massive star that collapsed into a singularity, an infinitely small, infinitely dense point from which even light cannot escape. Anything that gets too close is stretched into spaghetti before disappearing forever. If you collide them together, a pulsar would fire blinding energy beams at everything in its path. A magnetar would scramble magnetic fields so violently that even a neutron star's structure would be at risk. The neutron star would fight with its sheer density. But here's the problem. None of them can escape a black hole. 